It's been a very busy week for both our staff and students. If you would like to find out what happened this week, stay tuned. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Reza Rutsari, I'm the Director of Undergraduate Education here at the School of Dentistry, University of Manchester and you're watching your favourite Manchester Molars. If you haven't done that so already, just don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell button so whenever a new episode comes out you get notified first. To start with, I'm going to take you to our Friday evening and our pizza night for our Year 5 students. have internationally recognised teachers and I get feedback on how outstanding our students are and that comes through in terms of uh, from external examiners just saying the depth of knowledge that you have as, as students is phenomenal um, the uh, foundation training interviews you know the mock interviews I understand went really well you've had your other interviews I hate that you just shone at those Students from Manchester tend to get their first choice. So we're, we're proud of you. I think I said at the start of the academic year that we want you to be proud when you, when you graduate. And I know Reza um, thanked me in Manchester Bowlers this week for, for putting this event on, but actually it's carrying the team. I've done nothing. I've done nothing. Um, they've organised it. I think actually it's gone on your, your credit card, hasn't it? So I haven't even paid for it. I've really done nothing. So, um, so thank you to them. And then just enjoy, enjoy the pizzas. So we will be planning another informal pizza night or pizza lunch um, in, in the new year. If you let Sam or Willow know that what is your preferred date or time, we just make sure that we organize it where it's more suitable to all of you guys. On Tuesday, all clinical staff attended at the Trust's uh, ACE Day, whereby we discuss a variety of uh, items relevant to patient safety and clinical effectiveness. I'm gonna leave you in the hands of Prof Mike Pemberton so he can tell you all about it. Hello, my name is Professor Mike Pemberton and today we had an Audit and Clinical Effectiveness Day held in Mandek. These are regular sessions that we hold every few months where we talk about things that will improve quality and safety and the care of our patients. Today we had various things on the agenda. We started off with a talk around flu vaccination, obviously important for as many of our staff to have that as possible. We then talked about the MFT Employee Assistance Programme and about our risk register. This is a register we have whereby we know what the problems are in the hospital, have a plan to how to address them, and even if we can't address them immediately, it means we don't forget about them, but continually revisit them so we can make sure that at the appropriate time and in the future we can resolve the issues. Yeah. After that we talked about antimicrobial awareness. Uh, many of you will be aware that antibiotic resistance is growing and as time goes on this will become a major public health issue unless we do something about it now. Whilst dentistry is a relatively small prescriber of antibacterial antibiotics about 5% of the UK prescriptions come from dentists. Nevertheless, it's important that we do our bit to try and improve our use of antibiotics. As such, two years ago, we did an audit. This audit involved all dental hospitals in the UK and Ireland, and we then analysed what that audit told us. And since then, we've tried to improve the quality of antimicrobial prescribing in all hospitals. We're now going to head to a second audit and that will be through February 2020. So any antibacterial antibiotic that is prescribed in the hospital in February 2020, when it's prescribed a form will be given to the dentist who is doing the prescription and they'll be asked to fill it in about how they justify what they're doing and why they're doing it. There'll be two forms. One will be for therapeutic use, i.e. the treatment of active infection, and one will be for prophylactic use, i.e. using an antibiotic to help prevent infection following a surgical procedure. 
Of course, all of us need to remind ourselves from time to time about the use of antibiotics and how we need to use them. There are various resources available. There is the BNF and the Scottish Dental Clinical Effectiveness Programme, and both of those are available on all clinic desktops. In addition, as a free service online, the Faculty of General Dental Practitioners have guidance around drug use in dentistry. More specifically, there are some very good e-learning modules that are available. So I'm asking all dentists who work in hospitals to complete the BAOS modules on antibacterial prescribing. These give, there are three modules and each give one hour of free uh, verifiable CPD with the GDC and through doing these are interactive and one learns about correct prescribing situations. At the end of the session today we had a session on LGBT plus and this is useful for us all to know about uh, recent developments and remind us of what we need to know about being inclusive in our treatment of patients. Hello, my name is Michelle Worsley. I'm the lead nurse at the dental hospital. I would like to tell you a little bit about the flu programme. We're offering flu vaccinations for all frontline healthcare workers. It's really, really important that if you come into contact with patients, um, family members or the public over the Christmas period that you protect yourself against influenza. I will be delivering the flu vaccinations on site at the dental hospital and you're more than welcome to come along and have a flu vaccination. I will send some dates through which will be available on the blackboard for you to come along and get your flu vaccination. Our trust is one of the safest trusts in the whole country and we always proud ourselves of being excellent in terms of patient safety. On Tuesday we had the premiere of a video made by a number of our dental core trainees. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with Prof Ashley and the team to tell you a little bit about the video and let's watch it together. Hi, I'm uh, Martin Ashley, I'm one of the consultants here at the dental hospital. Um, as you know we have a good focus in our hospital on being safe with our patients and safe with ourselves when we're on clinics. And so we've got a number of initiatives we've done over the years such as um, the Safer Surgery Checklist to make sure we do the right surgery and take the right teeth out on patients, um, the Risk Assessment Tool for Sharps, the RAT Sword, it's about having a safe working environment. And also Stop Before You Start is a more recent initiative that we've been doing within the hospital. We're doing this with some of our colleagues and we can um, like to discuss that with you now. I'm one of the DCTs here at the Dental Hospital. So um, I've actually audited this topic on Stop Before You Start um, a couple of times over the past three years. And it's been great to see that the feedback towards Stop Before You Start has been overall very positive. Audits showed that there was generally just a little bit of confusion about the best way to um, perform it. So I think the key thing to remember is that it doesn't need to be a very lengthy process, it isn't very complicated and it is very informal and a very quick verbal check. So we've put together a small video that shows how not to do it and how we would recommend doing it by utilising all the things we've learned in this audit. You might recognise a few of the places and a few of the people as well. <laughs> hey, Ken. Sorry, oh God, just been doing then. Oh, sorry, just last minute revision. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, What's the plan? You know, I've got one of my um, finals case patients okay. in, and um, it's going to be a composite restoration. Mm -hmm. um, so I just need all the stuff for composites. Right. Okay. And which teeth are we doing? Uh, God, I can't remember. Um, I think it's a lower six. I think it's a lower six. So get me okay, a long okay. needle, yeah. um, and we'll do an IDM block. Alright, got the bibs. We're oh, all set up. 20 minutes late. Like, should, should I go get her? Yeah, yeah, just bring her in. Bring her in. What, what's her name? It's not on the board? Oh, sugar. Um, it's uh, Carol Bloggs. Okay, Carol Bloggs. Okay, okay I'll, get, I'll get that sorted. Okay. Been waiting a while now. Are we starting it soon? Or yeah, going I'm on? so sorry about this. Um, I'm just going to see if my tutor's around. If you bear with me, just a few minutes. Um, what level are you on? What level are you on now? Uh, I'm not going to say 64. <laughs> oh, I don't so what are you doing today? Um, so I've got a patient in for a filling in the lower um, first permanent molar mm -hmm. on the right side. Yeah, what year are you now? Um, final year. Oh, just get on with it then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you don't want to? No, that's fine. Just get on. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are we done yet, Ken? Hey, no. here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I I'll get started now. You can just open nicely. Let's review the plan then. Um, so. Did you actually that MCQ question? 
Oh my god, it was so hard. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I want to dress for it again. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Okay, no okay. okay grand. Sure. Right, Great. so. Alright, so we'll just get this. Did you mm. see that Joker film, Finn? No, not yet. I really wanted to yeah, see it's it. It's really good. You Carol, can... doing a great job there. We oh, nearly finished. So Wonderful job. Lovely, Carol. Well done. You can relax there for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well done. Feels really numb down here. Brilliant. Is it Even off the top we're doing today. Oh, oh two. Um, get the extra up there again. Um, right. Um... Maybe just say props around. Sure. Okay. Props? Where, where is he? Bingo! Hey, Ben. Hey, Oh, hey, Chris. How are you? Not bad, thank you. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. What's um, the plan today? Oh, we've got a fish in this afternoon then that needs a uh, restoration on their upper right at six. Oh, yeah, I do that. So I think the plan is a uh, composite restoration this afternoon. So it would be brilliant if you could grab all the equipment that we need for composites. Um, and we'll need um, to do a buckle infiltration with lidocaine. So we need all the blue syringe as well. Okay, sure. Are you okay? I'll do the board here then. We'll be back in a sec. Carol, lovely to see you again. Mm -hmm. You too. Carol, can you remember what treatment that you've come for today? I think, is it a filling on one of the big teeth there at the back? It is, yeah. you're quite right. Yeah. So we've got a hole on the first big molar teeth on the top on the right side. So the plan today is to remove the decay in that tooth and place a white filling for you. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to call my tube over here to yeah. just confirm everything with them before we start. Yeah. All right. Okay. How are you today? Hello, Professor. How, How are you? Patient? Is it Carol? Hi, yes. Hi, Carol. Good. Right, so what's the plan for today? Today, because we've got um, an animal cavity there in the upper right six, so okay. we're planning to do a composite restoration in that too. Mm -hmm. Just upper right first, no right? Exactly, yep. Yeah. Good. And have you got a radiograph? We do, just behind you. We've got bite wings that were taken three weeks ago. Okay, so they're up to date. Good. And so what's your plan for numbing up? Um, I'm going to use lidocaine buckle infiltration today. Good. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Carol, if you can open as wide as you can for me there. Okay. Fabulous. So Clarissa, today we'll numb up the upper right six. Yes, happy. Lovely job. Well, well done, Carol. Carol. Big stretch. And I can assure you that no dental nurses were harmed in the production of this video. Okay, moving on. How about a free pair of loops with some lights? Okay, I will come back to that in a second. So on Wednesday, we had a very busy day with both our undergraduate program committee or UPC, as well as the staff student liaison committee or the SSLC uh, being in full uh, function. Now, I'm going to leave you in the hands of Ayula to tell you what happened on the UPC and also tell you about a few exciting things coming through the MDSS. Hi everyone, I'm just here to talk about the debrief we've had from the UPC meeting and it was noted that we've recently had some SDR meetings underway which has been really good because it allows students to have a chance to speak to the head of years and to raise any concerns and just see how they're progressing in general and just to consider how they can go about any milestones that are outstanding any support that they need to achieve in any of the areas of their dental studies. Also, the Extraction and Restorative Clinic with the fifth years has been working really well. And so it's now looking to be open up to the other years on the Restorative Clinic. As long as they're easy extractions and your tutor is, has agreed to that, it means that everyone will have an opportunity to be able to do extractions on Restorative Clinic as long as they are easy extractions. Also, we'd like to have your voice be heard. So we've got Rate the Tutor on Blackboard. It's, a, it's an opportunity for you to give some positive feedback to some of the tutors that have been, in a, been doing an amazing job on clinic and to also give some constructive feedback as to how they'll be able better to support you on Restorative Clinic as well. And we'd also like to say a big thank you to all the staff and students that came to our winter quiz on Monday. It was a huge success and everyone seems to have a really good time. Also, upcoming events are in January, we've got Swallow Loops coming. It'll be a really good chance for you to try on a loops and kind of get your size and measurements and to see how you can practice 
I'm doing some dental prep work under some loops as well. We've also got the dental review on January 16th and tickets will be coming out soon for sale. Also keep in mind the MDSS Dental Ball on the 22nd of February, that's a Saturday and it will be at the Mikira Hotel. Finally, we've got some loops that are being raffled off from Swallow. They have lifetime guarantee, they come with lights as well. So all you have to do is buy a ticket for five pounds or buy three for 10 pounds to be in a chance of winning. Thanks Ayula, and how about we now go and meet uh, some of your uh, YEV reps to tell you a little bit about what happened during the SSLC. Hi everyone, it's uh, Oliver, the fourth year BDS rep. Um, so just going to go through the issues we had and how it's going to be resolved. So one of them was the alginate mixers. So we complained about disposable spatulas, how it's wasteful for the environment and how they're more difficult to mix alginate. So that's going to be fed back to the NHS team and it is being dealt with. Clinical cameras, we said the new red clinical cameras never seem to have a charge available. Um, there were five chargers put with the five new cameras but it's everyone's responsibility to put them back. I think what's happening is they're going missing, they're going on walkabouts, people are accidentally taking them home, etc. But uh, Rez is gonna get on that. And also the flash is off to the side and these are lower quality images. So you need to put the camera into microscope mode and it will then use the LEDs around the lens. So this is gonna be posted on Blackboard. Girls hair, so a few female students complained about having, uh, nursing staff sort of having a go when the buns touch the shoulders. Um, that is the policy. It's not a lot that can be done about that. However, Rez said, Reza said um, about perhaps introducing some surgeon caps to keep your hair up um, and perhaps getting some tighter bands. Uh, mobile phones. So some students are a little bit confused as to the policy regarding the use of mobile phones in clinic because I know some of us have been told off for having them out. So um, keep it in your pocket. Don't really get it out in clinic because you no, know, the policy does say you're not allowed them in clinical areas. Obviously, but there is a bit of a bit of leeway there, but generally, no, keep them in your pocket. Um, Preclinical seminars, some restorative tutors aren't doing them to schedule or just aren't doing them because perhaps they can't find them on Blackboard. Res has been alerted to this, it's gonna remind all tutors that you can find them on Blackboard and then oral surgery. So this has been a big point today. Obviously, I've heard that, you know, 50 is really being given priority on oral surgery and rightly so, their quotas are higher. However, some students complain about going on and not having any sort of extractions whatsoever and fifth years taking them all. So I spoke to Prof Yates as well and Prof Yates said that fifth years will be given catch-up sessions at the end of March if they're just off their quotas. Um, but they certainly shouldn't be taking all the extractions. Perhaps priority, but not all of them. So this should be getting sorted. And I think that's it for today, guys. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. Hey guys, um, it's Ibrahim. Got told off last time for not introducing myself. I fed back everyone good feedback. Clinical shooters smashing it. Um, Dr. Khan, everyone loves him. Dr. Shupak, everyone loves him. Dr. Reza's Manchester Molar videos, we love it. Um, so yeah, really positive and really good. Uh, and everyone's encouraged to leave positive and constructive criticism uh, on all their clinical tutors. So don't just, you know, hate on them, drop a bit of positive feedback. They love to read that. Thank you. And finally, on Wednesday, it was Prof Nick Gray's birthday. So many happy returns, Prof Gray. And I'm going to leave you with him to put a smile on your face. So Reza, Mr. Manchester Molar Man, uh, my uh, joke today is about, it's a political thing, it's about Dennis Skinner who was in the House of Commons. And he said the opposition are just, 50% of them are just crooks. And the John Biker, the speaker, said, you're gonna have to retract that. He said, fair enough, 50% aren't crooks. Now, I've got the great news for you. You couldn't get enough of our YouTube channel now. We are also on Instagram. So this is going to be a channel made by students for our students. How about we meet some of our social media reps? Hi, I'm Sophia. Hi, I'm Ella. Hi, I'm Nate. Hi, I'm Megan. And, and we, we are the social media reps. <laughs> I'm one of your third year social media reps. Hi, I'm Maria Seri and I'm one of your third year social media reps. Hi, I'm Nadia, I'm Katie and I'm Amelia. And we're your year two social media reps. Okay, that's it guys. So this was our last Manchester Molars of 2019. If you're staying at home, have a lovely Christmas. If you're traveling, have amazing time away. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all back in January. So I'm back on Thursday, 9th of January. So have a lovely Christmas, happy new year, and I will see you in 2020. 
I'm going to take you to our pizza night for our year five students and leaving you to see what happened on the night.